Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Satya Kamala. Hope you guys are all doing well. So guys, in today's video, as I told you in my Nike haul video, this is the part two of the haul video. Uh, so in my part one video, I as I told uh, this, I a lot, I shopped a lot of products from Nike summer sale. So I cannot show you everything in one video. So I made it in two parts, and this is the part two of the continuation of part one. So yeah, if you are interested in uh, watching what and all I shopped in summer sale from Nike, do continue watching and if you are new to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and uh, without any further delay, let's begin into the video. So this is the what I supposed to tell as the intro, actually I am filming for the third time the intro, I forgot to talk what I want to talk. So anyway, let's begin. So as you can see, uh, this is what the big box contains. So here here I have full of makeup and skincare uh, only one skincare product so yeah so the first product I have is this simple cleansing wipes so uh, this is something uh, for the third time I'm buying this I really really like the simple wipes um, uh, I don't uh, use generally for day to day wear makeup or uh, heavy duty makeup so I only take this uh, wipes only when I'm traveling so for, while traveling I cannot take my micellar waters cleansing sponge everything so this is the best way to use um, the wipes uh, so uh, and also not only me me and my baby and uh, for my uh, niece we use this uh, wipes because I take only one cleansing sponge I cannot share uh, one cleansing sponge with everyone so that will be a very huge mess so I keep on buying this uh, cleansing sponge uh, so it's very very nice very gentle on the skin and removes even waterproof makeup as well so if you haven't tried this product definitely i recommend you to try so uh, they had almost 25 percent to 30 percent discount so i saw i bought two uh, packets so uh, i share one my baby share one so if we are going together we take only one uh, box and we share both so that is a uh, thing and I really really like this guys really really nice definitely I recommend for every skin type girls even for boys also so the next product I have is the Nika skin RX spot uh, correct 5% uh, nice made, made moisturizer so this is the recently launched I did not try till I wanted to show with you and then I want to try so I did not try till now so this is what the packaging looks like this is for oily skin type girls and uh, uh, it's a day moisturizer with the SPF 15 it has so this is how the moisturizer contains looks so it's a uh, creamy consistency so let me try once and tell you uh, how this looks so this feels like a very um, jelly kind of a consistency not jelly uh, not so thick consistency i for oily skin girls this is a perfect uh, consistency what i feel i like to use this kind of a consistency moisturizer so it blended beautifully and has a no natural finish doesn't has any kind of matte or matte finish or like so in one go we cannot tell no so i'll be keep on using and i'll be updating about this product so next i bought a kajal uh, so this is the color bar in dense rich kajal uh, this says long lasting up to 12 hours pure black color waterproof smudge proof and transfer resistant so uh, i really wanted to test a lot of kajals because day to day where i never skip my kajal so i really want to have a, a backup and uh, i want to try different different kajal so that um, I can update you what is the best kajals in the market so i thought let me try this one this is the very first time i'm uh, i bought this color bar intense rich kajal so this is how the original packaging of the kajal looks like this is the retractable form so this is how the it looks like let me swatch a bit for you just one swipe uh, it came so i really like the content i mean the pigmentation of the kajal i really like that uh, 
pigmentation but when you apply on the eyes only we can judge how the kajal performs so yeah, definitely i'll be trying and i'll be keep on updating about this kajal in my future videos so next we have three different blushes from three different brands so this is the time for uh, blush season i think everyone are coming up with the cheek tint uh, cheek, lip and cheek tints and new new blushes so somehow I, even i also addicted to blushes if i don't wear contour also but blush is something i really wanted so first we have the uh, forever 52 um, cheek pop blush this is in the shade so this is in the shade bubbly uh, and uh, this code is cpb002 i'll gonna leave the link uh, in the description box you can check that out so this is how the packaging looks like it's a big tin kind of a packaging and this is what the shade looks like it's a beautiful mauvish uh, pinkish kind of a shade and comes with a mirror so i really like this kind of a shades uh, for my complexion so let me swatch so this is what it looks like so pigmentation is really nice uh, as you can see um, i really like the pigmentation so the pigmentation is really really good but when we apply on your cheek it might go different shade as well so uh, in future video i'll be keep on sharing that this is the beautiful match matte shade and i really like for my complexion so next we have from mua a makeup academy blush uh, this is in the shade uh, rouge punch so this is what the packaging looks like and this is also kind of a light pinky kind of a shade which i actually applied on my cheeks today with the lip and cheek tint so it has a very mild uh, pigmentation and when once you bl build it up it blends beautifully and it builds the pigmentation according to your preference so i really like the shade and um, uh, the pigmentation also so as you can see so that is really really nice if you are lighter than my skin tone this would be a beautiful uh, blush for you so since i want to set my lip and cheek tint for longer period of time i just apply uh, the blush on top of that so whenever i want different different shades i just mix and match and go so next we have uh, blush from Swiss Beauty. So this is the new uh, launch I think. I don't, I haven't seen this blush um, when I am putting videos regularly. So this is something new to me. So this is the shade called Deep Plum. This is how the packaging looks like. So this reminds me the uh, Miss Claire uh, blushes. So if you know, I am a big fan of Miss Claire blushes. So this packaging is reminds uh, me that so it is not a uh, very uh, bad but uh, it's really nice packaging the quality is also really good not like a cheap package but the shade is like a shimmery kind of a shade so it has a little bit of shimmery particles to it so as you can see when you compare to the previous blushes i showed you this has a little bit of sheen to it so um for a person who don't apply highlighter this would be a nice blush or you can use it as a uh, eyeshadow uh, shimmer shade so for the blush i someone who likes matte me i don't like this kind of a shimmery blushes so what i'm going to do i just use it for eyeshadow purpose or to create any fun looks so if you don't like shimmerish blushes then i think you don't like this it has a lot of shimmer shades as you can see so i i like to have matte blushes this is something i have to pass so let's see if i put on cheeks it might change but i don't think it's gonna change uh, that so as you can see once i blend it also it has a light shimmeriness is there so yeah so I feel when you don't have want any highlighter but you want to have a shimmery cheeks, this is gonna work for you. So even I'm I'm thinking to try like that. Let's see how this is gonna perform in future. So somehow I'm addicted to blushes and cheek chains. So if you want to uh, know the best cheek tints which I tried, do let me know. I just wanted to put up a video on best cheek tints.
from my collection so the next product I have is this I mean we make a makeup Academy loose powder so it's been a while I tried a new loose powder so thought of trying this one so this is in the shade it doesn't have any shade I think it's a in transparency kind of a thing as you can see so uh, it has a light uh, pale um, shade so it's not pure uh, white uh, it has a little bit of um, color to it so once we apply on our under eyes I can say how this looks uh, this is a this is saying mattifying translucent powder so it here, here they have written so I'm expecting a lot because uh, I really like MUA products since whatever I have tried I really like all those things so next we have this Rimmel highlighter this is in the shade after glow so this, this is really a beautiful highlighter in one of my favorite youtuber was trying this so I really liked uh, that pigmentation so I'm just going to swatch as you can see guys such a beautiful highlighter I really really liked it uh, the way um, that uh, youtuber used I really liked on her cheeks so I really wanted to try from the moment I saw and even I really like this beautiful shimmery highlighter it's very very uh, minute um, very shimmery thing it, there is no chunkiness at all so it's beautiful highlighter I feel so we have one more highlighter from uh, Swiss Beauty this is their liquid illuminator so uh, I really wanted to try this um, because I am seeing a lot of people using this on their cheeks and it just glows so this is how the packaging looks like so it this reminds me of the makeup revolution highlighter and this is how the shade looks like let me put up over here so yeah it's a beautiful liquid highlighter yes really really nice wow it's so so pigmented as you can see so you need to take very very tiny amount and this is the shade I think gold I think I'm gonna mention the shade in the description box so please uh, check out the shades uh, and this might be lighter from my skin tone but once we blend it with the uh, foundation it might change the color and I can work with that so next we have a product from pack this is the take cover compact powder this is in the shade uh, bronzed sugar so actually i opened and saw the shade uh, which is lighter for my skin tone so this is how the packaging looks like it's a big package as you can see it's so sturdy and very very good quality packaging and this is how the uh, it looks like it comes with a puff and uh, you have to open the uh, glass also so the packaging wise it's very 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 tremendous packaging i really really like it uh, as you can see you get a mirror you get a protector and you get a puff the only thing i bought the wrong shade um as you can see it is so so light for me um so as you can see this is very very light shade i think i have to uh, go a little bit darker uh, this is number 14 so after i saw this shade i think the perfect shade would be number 17 which is a toffee i think so i would have gone to that but unfortunately i bought this but i don't want to give to anyone because i really like pack products that to the take cover concealer i really like when coming from that range i really wanted to try and uh, yeah i'll definitely uh, try and let you know how the formula performs so if i really liked it i am definitely going to purchase my perfect shade next we have two settings uh, sprays from uh, maybelline and l'oreal so this is uh, their matte and poreless 24 hour oil control non comedogenic setting spray so yeah i know maybelline products are really really good and i saw shalini video this was really really amazing on her skin so i really wanted to try and uh, this is one more uh, this is one more from l'oreal this is the infallible pro spray and set makeup extender so it's been a while i tried a new setting spray so thought of trying in this haul um so that was a huge discount on these products so i just went and bought that so next we have a foundation which is from max factor this is the face finity law lasting performance so this is how it looks like again i saw it from one of my favorite youtuber so in her uh, on her skin it was looking very very beautiful 
so this is in the shade i think uh, caramel i think so i exactly i don't know the shade ah yes it is caramel they have written over here so i really wanted to try this uh, max factor uh, product i haven't tried anything from this brand itself so i'm very excited to try and this comes with this kind of a tube so next we have uh, concealers from Lakme. This is a primer plus matte uh, liquid concealer. So I really wanted to from a, uh, try from a long time. Means since they launched, I really wanted to try, but it was expensive, like uh, 400 rupees. I I know uh, Lakme will give good discounts, and I was waiting for the discount. Luckily, they were having 30% discount, and I grabbed it for 280 rupees product. So this is how the original packaging of the Lakme concealer looks like. This is in the shade uh, Walnut. This is a 38 Walnut and we have one more shade which is called Almond. So I really wanted to put up this uh, um, test. So this is how it looks like. So it's a very basic uh, packaging with a doe foot applicator. So let me um, try and tell you or I'll do it just a um, try on video since we have a lot of products to test so I'll just do that so the next product is from Mix Clare this is a puff perfect makeup blender so recently this uh, launched a uh, different colors almost like a 15 to 16 colors uh, beauty blender and I bought in the pink color so I really wanted to try Miss Claire uh, puff because uh, they are really good uh, in coming days they are performing very very beautiful means I really liking all these products so I just wanted to try this one and it feels a little bit uh, sturdy so when we wet it might go soft also so I really wanted to try and I'm just waiting for your uh, comment to tell what to try or what not to try uh, in my next video so the next product I have is from uh, from Kiko Milano this is their lip liner you know guys how much I love uh, the Kiko Milano lip liners this is in the shade uh, uh, 518 I think uh, some blueberry or blackberry I really like the formula this is almost like a brown kind of a shade so let me swatch Wow, as you can see almost like a wine berry kind of a shade so I really like this pencil I I recommend a lot to you guys I have I think this is the fifth pencil I bought so next we have one product which I really wanted to try from a long time this is their essence make me bro eyebrow mascara so all over the internet people were loving this uh, bro mascara and uh, here I have with me so I did not try guys seriously I did not try I wanted to try and let me know guys how I feel so on the next we have two Miss Claire lipsticks so in my last video I told you I kept in different box this is that we have in the shade 02 dusky rose and 05 so for 05 there is no name I'm gonna uh, swatch the shade 02 this is what the shade looks like so the packaging is so big so sturdy and this is how the doe foot, look, doe foot looks like wow i really like like the beautiful color yeah, i really liked it so this is how i want to have my colors i really liked it so this is the shade number five so it's a beautiful pink mauvish kind of shade and this is kind of a nude brown kind of a shade both of them are really really good so by the time i film my video i placed one more order and i received that also so i thought of showing with you guys so this is the k beauty uh, concealer this is their orange concealer and in my last k beauty video i told you i want to try and uh, so here it is so it's a beautiful k beauty packaging and uh, i don't think it's a dark orange it's a beautiful orange concealer as you can see uh, that is really nice shade yes so in all other uh, orange characters I have seen the orange shade was darker so this is very very nice so let me try and tell you how I feeling about this and we have uh, one more product from inside cosmetics this is their HD uh, concealer so I bought in the shade MN white 20 so in my last video I told you I'm gonna try the lighter shade so this is how it looks like and um, here it is the big doe foot applicator so I'm gonna swatch this one so 
as you can see this would be a very light shade for me so i am excited to try both the concealers on my face and tell you how i'm feeling so next we have uh, two uh, inside lipsticks so this is the long wear color rich lip gloss so this is how the packaging looks like so it's a beautiful red shade so it's a kind of a burgundy maroon kind of a shade wow very very dark so i'm gonna swatch over here oh wow as you can see it's a beautiful color so i like to try this kind of a colors and the gloss is also really really nice so i don't know how the perf um, uh, formula is but very excited to try next we have matte lip ink so this is how it looks like wow it's a beautiful transparent packaging so this is in the shade 03 uh, rick less so they have different different kind of a uh, lipsticks uh, with the different formulas so i want to try at least all the formula with different shades so i really like this color so the next I, the next product i bought is the laneige lip glowing balm so i have been using uh, since i bought this one i really really liking this uh, it's a beautiful uh, balm guys i really really liking i definitely recommend to uh, if you are a laneige lover and if you haven't tried this one definitely you need to try beautiful product it's very moisturizing and has a beautiful sheen to it so if you don't apply any lipstick also you can definitely go and wear uh so it's just beautiful i really like this so it's a nourishing yeah it's really nice beautiful balm next product i have is this one this is the pack pocket puff so this is what it looks like this is to uh this is to use your loose powder and compact powder and i feel uh, it's a really good product to set your uh, loose powder on your and eyes so it just fix hugs to the uh, skin so this is a dupe for some higher end makeup mm -hmm. brand i don't know the exactly i haven't i have seen this uh, in uh, instagram but i don't know the, exactly the name but um, let me use and tell you how this feels the next product i have is the uh, k beauty kajal so this is how the product looks like so i have used this uh, previously i really really liked it so in my next video i'll try because i have to open the packaging it might take late so i have uh, one more kajal from inside this is their cool kajal waterproof non smudge uh, single stroke kajal so this is how it looks like so everything i really wanted to test um uh, put into test so one by one i'll be keep on trying and i'll be up, up, updating to you guys the last product from this haul is the pack auto lip liner in the shade mauve so this is how the lip liner looks like uh, i'm a big fan of pack products and i want to try this thing as well so here it is the swatch so it's a beautiful uh, brown and uh, kind of a new shade i really like this kind of a shade and also the pigmentation is also really really good yeah guys that's it for this video hope you enjoy watching this uh, haul uh, if you enjoy please give this video a big thumbs up comment below what is your opinion and uh, do let me know what are the products that i do of want to try first and um, tell you my opinion and if you are new to my channel please take a moment as i said and uh, i'll see you in my next video guys thank you so much for watching bye take care